Hello everyone, this time we're going to take up synthetic division. And what is synthetic division? It is a shorter procedure when dividing a polynomial by a binomial of the form x minus c. Example, x squared plus 10x plus 21 divided by x plus 3. So how are we going to divide or find its quotient using synthetic division? Here are the steps. First, arrange the polynomial in descending power of x. So in our example, both the dividend and the divisor are already arranged in descending power of x. Second, write c for the divisor x minus c. On our given example, x plus 3 is our divisor. It should be in the form x minus c. But it is written in x plus 3, so we may write that as x minus negative 3. So that is now in the form x minus c. Therefore, the value of c is negative 3. We may also write the expression x minus c and equate that into 0 so that we can have the value of c. That is x is equal to z. So in our example, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtracting both sides of the equation, so therefore x is equal to 3, and negative 3 is also the value of c. Another example, if I have given you 3x minus 2, equating that to 0, and then that is equal to 3x is equal to 2, divide both sides by 3, so therefore x is equal to 2 over 3. So our value of c is 2 over 3. So let's continue. So the value of c is negative 3. So we may write it this way. And then to the right of value of c, we're going to write the coefficients of the dividend. Our dividend is x squared plus 10x plus 21. And the coefficients are 1, 10, and 21. Next step, write the leading coefficients of the dividend on the bottom row. Our leading coefficient is 1, so we're going to write that on the bottom row. Next step, multiply C on the value written on the bottom row and then write the product in the next column in the second row. So we were going to multiply negative 3 times 1 or 1 times negative 3 and we're going to place the product on the next column. So that will be negative 3 times 1, that's negative 3. Or 1 times negative 3, that is also negative 3. Next step, add the values in the new column, writing the sum in the bottom row. So our next column is 10 and negative 3. Adding them, the result is 7. So we are going to place again the sum in the bottom row. Next, repeat the series of multiplication and addition until all columns are filled in. So we're going to go back with the first process. We're going to multiply C and the number in the bottom row. So negative 3 times 7 or 7 times negative 3. The result is negative 21 and the product will be placed on the next column. And then add 21 plus negative 21. The result is 0. Next, Use the numbers in the last row to write the quotient plus the remainder above the divisor. The degree of the first term of the quotient is 1 less than the degree of the first term of the dividend. So the degree of our dividend is 2. Therefore, the quotient is x plus 7. And then the final value in this row is the remainder. So the remainder is 0. Let us have another example. Divide 4x cubed plus 5x minus 12 by 2x minus 1. So again, we're going to arrange the polynomial in descending power of x. In our given example, it is already arranged in descending power of x. And then, write c for the divisor x minus c. So our given divisor is 2x minus 1 so that we can be able to solve for c. Let's equate 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And that is 2x is equal to 1, and then x is equal to 1 half. So that is our value of c. Then, to the right, write the coefficients of the dividend. Our dividend is 4x cubed plus 5x minus 12. So therefore, we're going to write only the coefficient. And if you're going to observe, I have added here 0. 
because there is a missing term which has the power of 2. So we're going to write the coefficients of that missing term as 0. Next, write the leading coefficient of the dividend on the bottom row. So that is, bring down 4. Next, multiply C on the value written on the bottom row. And then write the product in the next column in the second row. So, 1 half times 4, that is equal to 2. And then, adding the values in this new column, writing the sum in the bottom row. So, 0 plus 2, that is equal to 2. Then, repeat the series of multiplication and addition until all columns are filled in. So, 2 multiplied by 1 half or 1 half times 2, that is equal to 1. So, that will be written on the next column. And then add 5 plus 1, that's 6. Then 6 times 1 half, or 1 half times 6, that's equal to 3. Negative 12 plus 3, that is equal to negative 9. Then use the numbers in the last row to write the quotient plus the remainder above the divisor. The degree of the first term of the quotient is 1 less than the degree of the first term of the dividend. So you are going to have now 4x squared plus 2x, plus 6, minus 9 over 2x minus 1. And then, the final value in this row is the remainder. So the remainder is negative 9. Thank you for watching and learning with me.